Mary, what are you saying in the beer parlor business? I suggested we start. This beer parlor business is a money-making machine. People that do the business make it very fast. Have you forgotten Bible say in the book of 1 Corinthians 6 verse 9 to 10, or do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived, neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men who practice homosexuality, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. Although you will say that we are not going to be drinking it, but not forget selling those things that Bible calls sin, is equally a sin, because you are encouraging, and promoting sin. You have started again, must you bring Bible say this and that in this matter, is there anything that the Bible is not against, make love with your boyfriend, is a sin, drink alcohol, and cool body, is a sin, smoke and, pursue cold, is a sin, let's go to club and have fun, is a sin, wear makeup, is a sin, wear jewelries, is a sin, dress sexy, and look attractive, is a sin, everything is a sin. You better stop all this sin this and sin that, and live a free life, if you continue like this, you are going to suffer in the future, that is why I refuse to give my life to Jesus, that do this, and don't do this, that is there is too much, every enjoyment is a sin. How can one make it then, if all the business that gives quick money is a sin, nonsense. Continue in this your holiness, and cry at your old age, I have said my own. One thing you should know is that every commandment of God is for our own good. When the Bible says don't do this, it is because God does not want us to get hurt. All those things you mentioned that the Bible says we should not do, the people that ignore it, how well is their ending? You can see they get destroyed by it. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world, and lose his soul? Nothing at all. My soul is more important than all the earth. I pity your life. I pray you live to see what you did to yourself. At your old age, others are doing any business their hand can reach, in order to make it and enjoy their old age, but for you it is a sin. It is a sin to start a cocaine business that gives money sharp sharp. Look at all the girls that are doing it. They are now rich. No one even knows that is what they are doing, because it is not written in their face. But. You said you would not do it. Okay, I said, let us start a cigarette business. The business moves quickly and gives money quickly. You said, God forbid, it is a sin. Now, let us start a beer parlor business. The beer parlor business gives money. You said, no, it is to encourage sin. You are not the one who will drink them. Your job is simply to sell them and collect money. You still say it is a sin. I choose my soul. If the only thing that makes money quickly is bad business, which God warns us not to do, then I would rather stay the way I am. After all, how long am I going to live on earth? What is the point of disobeying God and doing what he tells us not to do in order to make money and become very wealthy and firm? In the end, we will go to hell and live in torment, pain, and anguish for all eternity. Anything that will make me not to go to heaven. Back to sender, let me remain the way I am. By the way, it is not permanent. God can decide to bless me through nothing. Then why run faster than God? No problem. At the end, let's see where your holiness will take you. I will go ahead and do the business, stay here and continue to keep all the do's and don't in the Bible. At the end, you will realize what you do to yourself. By then it is too late for you, and the last thing I will do is to give you one cent, or help you. That will never happen. I will not suffer to finish and carry the money and give it to you. God forbid. Since you want to waste your youthful age, get ready to face the consequences. Don't say I did not warn you. Nonsense. How can I preach to people not to smoke, while still selling cigarettes? How can I tell people not to drink alcohol because it is harmful to the body, and if you die from it, you will go to hell, while still selling alcohol? How can I tell people to stay away from sin, and still be promoting sin? Isn't that hypocrite? I will not do it. I'd rather obey the voice of God than man. Since she refuses simple businesses simply because, they don't give money fast, I will not join her. How can every easy money-making business sin, 
sin, sin, in fact, I am going to open the business next week, if she wants to join me, let her. If not, let her not. But I will make sure she suffers for not joining me. That I promise. Madam, bring four bottles of star for me. I need more bottles of bear. Please be fast. I'm coming sirs. Fine girl. What do you want? I want... This. Stop that please, I'm here for business. Stop pretending, is it not part of your business? You are not serious. You should be happy I notice you. Are you through, my money? You mean your money. Stop it, what is the meaning of that? Why are you pretending? Fine girl. They think I am prostitute or what? Customer, what should I bring for you, bear, star, which one? Fine lady, what if I say I want you instead? I am not for sale, please what do you want? What if I say I will give you $1,000, just for a night? $1,000? In fact, I can make it $3,000. Are you sure? Trust me. I'm serious. I will think about it. Just don't keep me waiting for too long, so I don't change my mind. Okay, let's leave it till tomorrow. I will be waiting. This is a very big opportunity to make it big, just for one night, $3,000. Wow, I can't believe this. I told my sister, this business really make ways for opportunity, now I'm going to make it big, and teach her a lesson, so that next time, she will listen to me, let me close for today, so as I prepare for tomorrow. Finally I have make it. Please tomorrow come fast, I can't wait to lay my hand on this money. Joy. What is it? There is no food in this house. And what is my business with that? Do I look like your Bible? If you need food, tell your do and don't do Bible to give you food, nonsense. Then why did you finish the remaining food in the house, since you know you are not going to replace it? That is because I have right to it as well, the food belonged to both of us not only you. If that is the case, the money you are using to run the beer parlor business belonged to both of us as well, that is the remaining money our parent left for us. If you think you have power come and take it, and see if I will not beat you blue and black. I'm leaving you because I am a child of God. Nonsense, a person that refused to work shouldn't ask for food. Is selling your body to men work? Remember Bible say in the book of 1 Corinthians 6 verse 19 to 20, do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You were bought at a price. Therefore honor God with your body. That business is the business that leads to destruction, but you will not agree, because of your desperation to make money, everything that God asks us not to do is for our own good, God has no benefit in the do and don't do that is in the Bible. Who told you I'm selling my body? Are you looking for what to gossip about? Busy body. That is where it will end, and that is the truth, Proverbs 23 verse 23, says, buy the truth, and sell it not also wisdom, and instruction, and understanding. Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. John 8 verse 32, I said let us start provision business, you said no it can't give you the kind of money you want, there are a lot of businesses that is responsible, you said no, except those business that doesn't please God, business that attracts sin, and promotes sin is what you want, just because it makes you money quick, for getting quick something don't last. Don't worry I will surprise you, you will soon see me in another color. Remember, there is consequency for every disobedient, sin is sweet but the outcome is terrible. Get out of my sight, you want to spoil my happy mood, if you like poverty, I don't like it, so mind your business. I'm not surprised, 2 Timothy 4 verse 3 to 5, says, For the time will come when men will not tolerate sound doctrine, but with itching ears, they will gather around themselves, teachers to suit their own desires. So they will turn their ears away from the truth, 
and turn aside to myths. But to me, I will be sober in all things, endure hardship, do the work of an evangelist, and fulfill my ministry. Nonsense. Three thousand dollars, here I am. Where are they? They should be coming, I need money. Who is here? Yes, customer, welcome. Wow, fine girl. Please sit down, I will attend to you. You are beautiful. Thank you. How about me taking you home now, if you don't mind? No, please, that is not what I'm here for. You think I will not pay you well? I will give you $4,000 right now if you agree. And I promise I will not waste your time. Believe me, before two hours you are back to your business. Are you sure? Trust me. My time has come. I can't believe I have made $4,000 in less than two hours. And still waiting for $3,000 this evening. Joy, this is your time to shine. I have been waiting, you are late for business. I have something doing at home. What do you say about what I told you yesterday? You will first of all pay me before service, and it is to be now, if I must agree. No problem. <coughs> you are so funny. I'm serious. Joy, you are welcome. Meet my husband-to-be. His name is Jude. Nice to meet you. <coughs> what is wrong with her? I don't know. I have money, yet no man come for me for marriage. The only thing they ask of me is to sleep with them. They never ask me to marry them. Am I not good for marriage? What is wrong with me? I think I need to go to hospital for checkup. <coughs> Doctor, what is wrong with me? Come back in two weeks' time, for now I'm not seeing anything. Okay. <coughs> I am feeling empty. What is wrong with me? Doctor, I'm here. Madam, I can't still see anything that is wrong with you. Doctor, what do you mean you can't see anything wrong with me? I'm dying day by day. Look at my hair. They keep falling. My face keep changing. I don't even have strength again. Yet you said you can't see anything wrong with me. <gasps> Doctor, please check very well. Maybe it have to do with spiritual, because I can't see anything. If you think I'm wrong, you can check other hospital. Spiritual, what do I have to do with spiritual? Check yourself, that have to do with the way you live your life. Is this how I will end? All the money I gather, all the cars I have, I never enjoy any of them. Here I am dying without knowing the cause of my death. <coughs> Who are you? It's time to say bye-bye to this world. That is for everyone that love this world, more than his or her soul. No, no, no. Aww. Somebody help. Somebody help. Vanity. All is vanity. What gain do I have now? I never enjoyed them, and I still lost my soul forever. Am I not a fool? Now I know why my sister chose her soul over earthly pleasure. What is the gain of gathering all in a sinful manner? only to abandon them to those who did not toy for it, and face eternal torment, pain, and suffering in hell? She is right, the do and don't do in the Bible, is for our own good, God has no benefit in them. Your soul is priceless, save it. Each time the Lord concluded the pronouncement of a law, he would declare, I am the Lord. Why? It is to assert the unquestionable authority of God, who does not change. His commandments are as timeless, and are to be obeyed throughout all generations. They are to be cherished by those who seek to make heaven. No other laws can guarantee the love of God. No other laws can guide one into God's presence in heaven, 
or ensure one enjoys peace of mind, here on earth. Accept the law of God, please obey that the voice of God, is for your own good, God's do's and don't single quote ts are the only doorway to his presence. Thanks for watching. And please subscribe, like and share. God bless you. And remember, Jesus loves you.